or ease the tension, give you confidence. Okay, I say we just start from the top. Yeah. Don't you agree? Okay, that's not gonna be in it, don't worry. Hello, my name is Oliver. And my name is Emerson. And welcome to our Halloween podcast, where today we will be discussing main factors of the Halloween holiday, such as candy, costumes, and trick-or-treating. Candy is definitely a major part of Halloween, which means that everyone will be rushing to the stores to get some candy. Unfortunately, there's been a worldwide pandemic happening, and the transportation of the candy will be decreased. Everyone has a favorite candy, though, and they might not be able to purchase their favorite candy if it won't be available as widely in stores. Indeed, that might prove an issue. See, my favorite candy is Reese's, though I feel like with this issue that my candy won't arrive on time and I won't have the abundancy of Reese's that I usually have every year for Halloween. What do you think on this matter? I disagree with your statement that there will be a shortage of Reese's. And my, personally, my favorite candy is M&M's. And I think neither M&M's nor Reese's will be affected by this problem. I think that stores have had enough time since the majority of the pandemic last year to replenish their stock. And even though there is a shortage of truck drivers, I think that they will be able to provide America's favorite candy, such as Reese's and M&M's in stores. You do make a good point about that. I feel like they have had enough time to supply their stores and stock them well. The issue is though that many people are um, going to the stores to buy candy and in addition $3 billion is expected to be spent on candy this year with more than $10 billion expected to be spent on the entire holiday. Due to the pandemic though, this might prove difficult. Experts say that Halloween costumes, candy, and decorations are loaded at the U.S. Uh, ports, but a shortage of truck drivers means they might not get into the stores at times. This is a scientific fact by Halloween experts. How do you feel about that information? Well, as well, I do agree with that statement just a little bit because I do think that there is a shortage of everything because that is a major effect of the pandemic, that people are out of their jobs and they haven't been able to re-accompany them. So I think while that will be a problem, I think that America will still be able to have their favorite Halloween candies this year. I do agree with that statement. That is correct. So on that, that, on that note, let's go to costumes. Yes, costumes are also a very critical part of the holiday. And picking out costumes is very exciting and everyone loves to do it. So COVID, But COVID has affected costumes too. There are less drivers, slower shipping times, and this is... Okay. I'm just, okay. There's less drivers, slower transportation times, especially for online websites such as Amazon. And there are millions of people who order off Amazon every day. And especially with Halloween coming up and people buying more costumes, Amazon, I think, will be slowed down a little bit because they have less drivers, which means slower transportation times and a higher demand. Exactly. I do feel that is a really big problem. Halloween is such a big holiday and so many things are being bought, including candy, costumes, and decorations off Amazon. And if they simply can't support the amount of you know, truck drivers they need, then we won't literally get our you know, items on time. And I feel like this is a problem. Have you ordered your Halloween costume yet? Yeah, about that. I haven't really got into it yet. Do you think that's a bad thing? I do think that's a bad thing. I think that if you want to order a Halloween costume off Amazon, you should definitely order it in advance to ensure that your costume arrives on time. So I do think that is an issue for you. you make a good point. I'm going to order it right now. As you should. For me personally, I already have my Halloween costume because my friend was nice enough to make it for me. So, so I am not as greatly affected by this problem as all of us. Yes, that's correct. Maybe she's right. Maybe more people this year should not buy, you know, costumes offline. They should try to make them themselves because, you know, with shipping being an issue, I feel like making your costume at home would be a better way of making a Halloween costume this year. And I think that gives pe people more creative freedom in making their costume. 
and people can express themselves more clearly and have more options to what they want to be. That's a great idea because actually for the last few years I've also made my own Halloween costumes yeah. and I found that it's a great way to express you know, my creativity and energy and it's just a great way. I say people this year due to the COVID pandemic should create their own costumes at home. Yes, I agree with that. But I'm buying it offline. <laughs> Shoot. So on that note of candy and costumes, let's talk about trick-or-treating. During the pandemic, people are starting to question whether trick-or-treating is safe due to COVID. Tens of millions of kids go trick-or-treating each year. This means that all of them are interacting with countless adults who may or may not have the virus. I think that this could be an issue for many households across America because personally, I know my dad last year was very cautious about trick-or-treating, even though I still want to go. He made, he made sure that we disinfected all our candy before we could eat it to ensure our safety while participating in the holiday. That's a really good idea. My dad did the exact same thing. He was very cautious on everything we did. We had to wear masks the whole time. It was just, it wasn't that enjoyable with the whole pandemic going on. So this was last year. This year might be different. A year into COVID now, or over a year into COVID, we have now vaccines and people are starting to feel more safe about this virus. I feel that people might be a little looser now on how they, you know, handle trick-or-treating this year. I agree with that. I think some people are also debating whether or not they should continue to wear masks during the holiday. On one side, it would be safer and protect multiple people from the virus. On the other hand, trick-or-treating takes place outside where there is a decreased chance of getting the virus. Additionally, some people may not even participate in the holidays due to COVID, which I can understand, but I think over a year into the pandemic, people should be a little looser about the topic. Exactly. We're already a year and people have the vaccines. I feel that everyone should participate in trick-or-treating, you know, COVID or no COVID. I still think everyone's going to have a lot of fun this year. Stay safe and I love you. That's not, you shouldn't end it that. So make sure to get your candy, make your Halloween costume, and go have fun trick-or-treating this year. Yep. Stay safe and be good. <laughs> Why do I suck at ending? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Stay safe and always remember, that's life. Wait, no, that's, that's from the Joker movie. No, no. Um, so thank you for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. That might prove it. Dang it. I'm going to restart real quick. Okay. I'm going to redo that. Okay. Again. okay, I'm terrible at it, bro. Okay, so um, indeed that mo- <coughs> Shut up, shut up. Indeed, that might prove an issue. See, hold on. I know it's not recording. It is now. <laughs> oh, is it really? He's awesome. Okay, bye. Just cut that out. Halloween costume and go have fun trick or treat. Oh, God. Did I just roll my <laughs> <laughs> No. It's oh, my God. No. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. I was like halfway through it and I was like, there is a camera that's on. I'm so sorry. <laughs>